gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road back from our Disney cruise. It was an amazing trip spending time with Luke and the kids and I just love the fact that we had time to be able to go back and do another trip with the kids and it made Luke and I kind of just really realize and cherish these times together because in all reality we really only have like three more years left before the kids are out of high school going out on their own we, of course, are still going to invite them on vacations through those younger years, 18 through 20, and still want to do those things. But we also know that as they get to those older ages, they're going to want to branch out on their own and experience their own things. So I am just cherishing all those memories that we did make on the cruise and cherishing each trip that we make together because our time with them to me seems like it is just fleeting um, and it's going by really, really fast. But we are back home. The weather has finally, I feel like, straightened up here in Colorado a little bit. It's still been on the cooler side, but it's just nice to have the kids done with school, um, not having to do the school schedule every day with them, and just be able to go outside and work on things and do projects with them as well. Today, I'm just gonna kinda do some stuff around our property and the house, get some things straightened out, and show you what we're doing just on our days off now that school is done. We have this handsome young guy. <laughs> what are you working on? Driver's Ed. He's working on getting his 30 hours of online driver's ed course done so you can go get your learning permit, huh? Right. You almost there? Uh, just about halfway. Yeah, all right, keep working hard, buddy. You guys can come out here. You can see things are kind of green here. They're greening up. I think I see Kenya way down there. Let's go check out and see what she's up to. Oh! What are you up to? Throwing some axes. Throwing axes? Yeah. <laughs> and knives? Knives and axes. I got my speaker. I got my water. I got my throwing board here that you want to explain this throwing board to them? Oh, it's so amazing. So, my friends came over, my best friends in the whole wide world, and they made me this throwing board so that I could practice my knife and axe throw. They're the best ever. So, yeah, so Kenya loves to throw knives and axes, but she doesn't always have a good place to do that. No, I'll just do it at a dead tree every now and then. Yeah, so we are very, very, very good friends. Um, put this together and you know Gideon, Lexi and Addie all put this together. Maybe we'll share some of the video of them putting it together yep. for you but they thought of Kenya and show it to him. So pretty much there's just some pieces of wood holding it up so that when it sticks it doesn't go over and there's just three pieces of wood just old Yeah wood. so they used an old tree trunk and cut Cut the, um, cut it out, cut it off the top, and then they kind of placed it together so it's a stand here in the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, now she's got a handy dandy throwing board. Woo! So I'm getting pretty good. Thank you guys so much, Gideon, Addie, and Lexi, for building me this throwing board. I'm so excited. I've been using it all morning. ask you another question um, if you would like to go pick rhubarb I know you said that it looks like the rhubarb is good and then maybe we can look for all the fun things we can do with rhubarb that would be great yeah and do some stuff mm -hmm. all right be a lot of fun. so I'll meet you over at the rhubarb sounds good we are still loving our property we've been here for two years now but we've been letting our ducks free range and they just kind of go all over our property it's okay duckies <laughs> Kenya and I are gonna pick some rhubarb. Um, we found out when we moved in here a couple years ago 
that the previous owner had planted rhubarb up here and every year it just does a really good it, it does so well in the spot that they put it we are gonna come pick it and I'm gonna look up some recipes for rhubarb and see if what Kenya and I can do in the kitchen right here it is Let's see if we think it's good that looks pretty good I think so we should be able to use it Okay, so I've got Kenya here, and we are, we're looking at some of this rhubarb. Some of it's ready, some of it not quite ready. So we'll pick a few, but we're gonna leave some of it, Kenya, and let the rest of it kind of grow more and okay. ripen. <laughs> but we decided to leave most of it because they're still really growing but yeah we should be able to get a recipe yep it is saturday morning here at camp david we've had a pretty restful week not doing too much just trying to catch up with stuff around the house and while luke was taking kenya to work this morning i received a phone call and it was from our local post office to say that a special delivery had finally arrived for us I am happy to say that it is our baby turkey poults or chicks, they're called poults, um, have arrived and so I get to go into the post office and pick them up. For the past two years we've raised our own turkeys and processed them at Thanksgiving time. We've been able to provide our own Thanksgiving turkey along with some for our friends. So we are getting ready to do that again this year and head in and get our poults. Will you come with me to run a quick errand? Yes, we'll go get your turkeys. <laughs> Are you excited for this? Have you got used to this? I'm used to it. Yeah, not a big deal. But they're always cute when you first get them, and then they turn into little monsters. Yeah, but by <laughs> the time you start getting sick of them, then yeah, exactly. we eat them. <laughs> they do taste good. <laughs> yeah. Are you glad we do this? Are you like, let's just go back to buying it for We're doing more this year because I think we want to be able to either keep more uh, for ourselves to cook or um, provide more for our friends. So um, I think that's good that we're doing a little bit more. The only the only downside is <clears throat> that feed gets really expensive, but we might try to do a better job of feeding them uh, like scraps from the kitchen because that does save a lot on, on uh, feed. What was my allotment this year that I was allowed to order? I think I said, I think we did five last year. So I thought we were gonna do five or seven this year. Okay, I ordered eight. Ugh. At least it's not 11. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want you to be surprised when you open up the box and okay. it's like, oh! <laughs> will, they, will eight fit in that, in that shed that I built for them? You might have to add an addition on there, maybe a couple extra bedrooms and a bathroom. I can't, I'm not that good of a carpenter. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they're going to be in a pretty small contained area for a while, so. All right. Good. Well, let's go get my turkeys. All right, let's get them. Maui, we're getting turkeys. He says, I already am a turkey. Are you ready for it? No. Okay, let's go get turkeys. Okay, we just got to the post office and picked up our baby chicks. Um, and if you guys ever wonder how this works, we order our all of our chickens and turkeys from Meyer Hatchery. I'll put the link to their website down below. But this is how they come in a little box right here. And we're going to open them up. And they just hatched yesterday, actually. So they're probably the smallest. So they're itty so bitty, get teeny them. tiny. Oh, hi, hi, guys! Hi! Oh, hello! So we're gonna get them home. They looked big for hatching yesterday. Wow. They did. They, I got the email that your chicks have hatched and they are shipping now. So they are hi. very cute. Hello, can you say hi? <laughs> hmm. I, think, I think he likes the camera. 
All right. So we're going to get them home, get them some food and water and some heat. Yeah. Okay, guys. All right. They're like leopard print. Yeah. <laughs> so they're the broad-breasted bronze. So that's why they look that way. That's the ones we got last year, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Came all the way from Ohio. Yeah. From Polk, Ohio. We ordered Broad five person. girls and three toms. <laughs> Don't pick on that one. That's not nice. Lincoln's in charge of the precious cargo. Do you like getting turkeys? Yes, they're so cute. You like them when they're this size or they're bigger? Or on size. your table? Uh, on the table is probably the best. <laughs> With mashed potatoes, stuffing, and gravy on the side. Yeah. yeah. All right, Jill's filling up the feeder. We've got their little, what is this called again? Brooder. Brooder, which is also a stock tank. We've got the heat lamp. At, this is a safe uh, panel heater. And then some water. She's putting food in now. We're getting ready to transfer them in to their new home. And Jill just added some supplement into their little house. All right, you got two of them. What's their names? I don't, you can't name them yet. We don't know their gender. Oh, okay. You gonna put them in? Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, they, they don't have very good balance. Yeah, we gotta they show them where the water is. Show them all where the water is. Down some food. Okay, let me show these two. Oh, yeah, they're already eating their food. Oh, that one's trying to yeah, be funny. Yeah, they're drinking their water. Okay, baby. Here, oh. Okay. I feel like they're multiplying. Right? <laughs> it seems like so many of them. 